I was given this pine. Unfortunately, I don't know what it is. Um, but anyway, I was given this pine about the first week of August. Not a good time to be uh, moving bonsai. It was being grown in a, a protected area. And you could see that this was the sunny side. It's grown on this side. It had gotten weak on this side here. So this, this is the back side away from the sun. And it's weaker than the front. Um, when I got it, I tried to put it in uh, the same kind of situation just so that it could get acclimated. At the time, it was in a very small pot, so I put it in a larger one with very little root disturbance. So now what I'm going to do is to get rid of the dead branch and to thin out the front. What I have to do is to bring this back. It's going to look a little harsh at this point, but we have no choice because now everything gotten so strong on this side and weak on this side. And then so in the recovery process, I'm going to put this side into more sunlight. Although in my condition, I try to get it even. So this being the back side, it's weak. You can see that it doesn't have the foliage that the other side had. Uh, some have gotten so weak that it has died. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these off. And then when I place it back into the display area, I'm going to try to get this side into more sun. 40% shade because that's where it came from. Now if this was a black pine, I would put it in much more sun. But I ha since I don't know what this is, I'm going to keep it in a similar condition that it came from. At least so I find out what it is that I'm working on. But it's a pine of some sort, and my guess is that it came out of the Sierras. This is another tree that I got from Tad Diego's um, wife uh, upon his passing. I think this one's in, in great need of styling, restyling. It's not one of his better pines. Looking at the other side, not a whole lot better either. So I'll go ahead, start pruning, and see what happens. That's what I took out. I'm at this point, but this is not the final solution. I wanted to thin it out so I could trigger more growth back in. And I'm thinking this is probably three to five year process to get this shape in that, uh, the way I want to go. I really don't know exactly what the finished um, product is going to be like but it's going to be a process. Sure if this is going to be the front eventually or not. I have this weird uh, dead piece here. I'm not sure whether it should be removed, or kept, or modified. Um, all that will happen in the next couple years. It's just going to take time. Um, this is not quite raw material, but it's, it really doesn't have a strong direction yet. So in the bonsai process, it's always about taking little steps, going back, growing it, back and forth, back and forth, and hopefully in due time, we'll have a good style. 
I'm looking at this as a three to five year project just to define the shape. This is kind of a weird uh, piece being left. I'm not sure whether it should stay or not. But because I know that this is going to be three to five year process, I just go ahead and leave it and see what happens uh, as we go on. So this is the Japanese black pine that I inherited from Ted Diego's collection. And now I'm going to put this in full sun to let it get very strong. <laughs> 